Yes, good morning everyone. So yes, today we'll have the Hindu analysis of 5th April 2022. Let's see which are the important articles. Yes, these are the important highlights. Let's first of all take overview of these articles. We'll understand the context of these articles, relevance to our examination. Then we'll discuss them in detail. So yes, on first page, you can see the international developments in Pakistan and Sri Lanka. We are having daily follow up on this. Okay, also Lok Sabha passes new criminal procedure bill. Okay, let's see what happens in Rajya Sabha. We have discussed in detail about uh, the provisions of this, how it impacts the fundamental rights of the people, the issues related to this identification bill. Okay, <clears throat> the energy sector needs major revamp IPCC report. So yes, on page number 12, there is separate news. IPC, IPCC report may spell death knell for coal-based units. So we have to discuss that uh, report, highlights of that report from environment perspective. Now, coming to the page number 5, Archaeological Survey of India wants Odisha government to tweak beautification plan around Jagannath temple. So Jagannath Puri temple, from art and culture perspective, Right, so temple architecture is very important component of art and culture part from mains as well as prelims perspective. Okay, so we will try to find out basics of this Jagannath Puri temple, the Kalinga style of temple architecture. Yes, then on page number 6, two important article, lead article, road to Ukraine peace runs through Delhi. Now, it talks about India's importance here and a new, uh, let's say, idea is proposed here that India being a neutral party should play proactive role as a mediator to this particular conflict. Okay, so in first part, it is talking about the impact of this war on Ukraine, Russia and overall world. Then in second part, it explains the importance of the mediation in different kinds of conflicts, including international disputes. And then it specifically talks about how mediation will work for this particular conflict between Ukraine and Russia. And in the end, it talks about how India can play the role in, as a mediator to Ukraine and Russia. So such kind of novel ideas, UPC may ask direct question. Right. So yes, we will discuss this article on bottom side, push the policy needs forward on migrant support. Okay, so yes, we have seen the problems faced by the uh, migrant labors during the first wave of the pandemic. And uh, in first part, the article explains that impact and then the measures taken by the government. But still, they are facing a lot of problem and now it is out of policy discourse by the government. Okay, so when they face problem, then the government address those problems, especially after the Supreme Court gave some kind of impetus. But now again, they are out of policy discourse. So that's why uh, the article is written with that context. It is relevant to our uh, GS2 paper syllabus, governance and social justice part. Okay, so it is talking about need to have space specific dedicated migrant labor policy at national level and how central government can play the important role in that aspect. Okay. Now, on text and context page, a kind of revision to you, India-Australia trade agreement. Okay, so on Sunday, this trade agreement was signed between our leaders and Australian leaders. So, this particular trade agreement, the nitty gritties, details of this uh, is ex uh, explained in the explainer article on text and context. So, again, uh, the AFSPA, partial rollback of AFSPA Act, we have covered this in uh, let's say I guess two days back we have covered this when it was in news that Union Home Ministry has taken the review of disturbed areas to be declared under AFSPA and the number of disturbed areas have been reduced. Yes, yes, yes. Now moving on. Okay. <clears throat> now, on page number 12, IPCC report may spell death knell for coal-based unit. So, this particular report is third report as overall part of assessment, sixth assessment report 
total four reports will be there together it will be ar6 assessment report 6 already two reports have been released this is the third report okay and what the scientist consortium of scientists in this report are highlighting it is relevant to india why because largely india is dependent on coal fired thermal power plants and they are talking about completely shutting down all such kind of coal fired power plants by 2050 okay so uh, that's why it is relevant to us okay here you can see that ncpcr summons icci icici bank officials now i want to give you one idea here for ethics case study okay now in recent times there has been several cases in delhi maharashtra wherein the banks are sending notices to certain households however those households are now the, let's say the, the loans taken by the parents okay now uh, those loans are to be repaid but they have died because of covid okay and now the orphan children are there and they are facing the uncertainty here whether they will have their homes or not whether the banks will take over those homes if the loan is not repaid ठीक है ये एक अनसर्टेनिटी क्रिएट हुई है बहुत जगह पे एंड नाउ देर आर सम प्लीज बिफोर द हाई कोर्ट एंड द एन सी पी सी आर इज टेकिंग सो मोटो एक्शन हियर ओके एंड सपोज सपोज देर इज वन केस स्टडी इन एथिक्स टॉकिंग अबाउट लेट से यू आर द हेड ऑफ लेट से जस्टिस डिपार्टमेंट और यू आर लेट से हेड ऑफ एन सी पी सी आर ऑफिशियल ऑफ एन सी पी सी आर वॉट काइंड ऑफ एथिकल इश्यूज आर इन्वॉल्व हियर ओके and suppose uh, let's say the, there is uh, let's say uh, ek ncpcr ka head hai aisa bhi aa sakta hai ya fir aap suppose you are the bank manager okay if you are suppose the bank manager or the higher official who is uh, let's say having authority to take decision regarding uh, such kind of uh, let's say waiving of the loans or something like that there can be case study like this okay what what are the ethical issues involved here or ethical dilemmas involved here and then what course of action can be taken by you okay what what are the alternatives options available with you ye sari cheeze jo hai ethics se related hai okay so this is how you should be aware about you know kind of ethical issues that are going on ethical concerns that are going on you know that because of covid 19 several children have become the orphan here and they are facing lot of problem although the government has launched that pm cares uh, let's say for children theek hai wo scheme hai but ye wala issue usme covered nahi hai theek hai loan liya hua hai repay karna hai how they will repay so this is new aspect is theek hai now let's go in detail the road to ukraine peace runs through delhi very good article written by faizan mustafa he writes generally very good articles hai na ha so india can be a mediator, mediator between russia and ukraine conflict yes so at present the war between ukraine and russia is costing not only these two countries but also the world economy yes in ukraine you can see that there are several casualties death of civilians military personnel okay along with that several people have been let's say you know taking refuge in the nearby countries seeking safety of their life okay and the economy of ukraine is also facing problem there are many human rights violations in ukraine russia is facing lot of problem its economy okay so its economy is facing lot of problem there is inflation depreciation of its currency its forex reserves cannot be used because of international sanctions lot of sanctions on trade although it is seeking to have the trade bilateral trade in rubble its own currency but there are limitations no the it cannot seek or cannot take loans from international organizations ye sare sanctions hai us pe 
Russia. Pe. So now it is also facing the heat of this war. Okay, and at present there is no winner, conclusive winner of this war. Okay, it is continuously going on. And what is the impact on world? Of course, we have discussed in ED lectures about this economic impact of uh, this war that is going on on world economy, especially the crude oil prices, crude oil and gas, natural gas prices, very high, especially European countries are the, facing the problem. They are very much dependent on Russia. Then other aspects, in, inflation, overall increase in prices of commodities, Okay, so agriculture, food grain, let's say movement is impacted like wheat. Kali amne discuss kiya tha. Right, wheat exports from Ukraine and Russia, they have reduced the countries which were dependent on these countries earlier for the import of wheat. They are facing the problem of food security. Right, just like Gulf countries. Hai so they are very much dependent on these two. Yes, so this is how you should know the basic impact or uh, brief briefly the impact of this war. Now, why peace stock failed? Very important premise that is given here by the writers. The peace talks uh, which were held in Belarus earlier and Turkey, they have failed to make, uh, make progress because the parties have been negotiating over positions rather than interest. Let's understand the, uh, understand the meaning of this. Okay, so position means Surface statements made by two parties or parties in conflict. Surface statements. Here in this particular case, Russia is saying that Ukraine should give the independence to this Lusank and this, uh, uh, what, what is the other name, these two regions adjoining Russia. So they should be recognized as independent states. Okay, so this is the position. Okay, but they are failing to understand the interest of Russia. Interest means why it is seeking that particular position. Why Russia is saying that statement. Okay, so it is talking about reasons. And the countries, uh, let's say the peace talk are failing because they are not able to understand the reasons behind these positions. You can use this in your essay topic or let's say if you are having PSR optional subject, of course, you may be knowing about this. Okay, positions rather than interests. Okay, so this is the meaning. Now, what is mediation and what are its advantages? We know that there are, you know, alternate dispute resolution mechanisms like mediation, arbitration, reconciliation. Okay, so they are ADRs alternative dispute resolution mechanisms now mediation is one of them and it is by neutral third party okay and it is collective bargaining resulting into win-win solution as against to you know the routine justice system that is there wherein one party wins and other fails jaise arbitration mein hota hai samjho kisi ko ek ko milta hai dusre ko nahi milta hai but mediation leads to you know collective bargaining and win win solution for both of them both of the parties so both parties are satisfied here okay and it is by neutral third party this third party is accepted by both parties in the conflict. Okay, then only that is, you know, successful mediation. Right? So, what are the advantages? Advantages of mediation is that this one, first thing is that solution agreed to both parties. Second thing is that we can say the mediator is neutral. Okay, it is not, let's say, part of any party or block that is there in dispute. 
So this is the advantage. That's why the solution proposed by the neutral party is agreed to. Then the major aspect is that the conflict, you know, there is substantial outcome to this one. Substantial outcome in, in a sense that in routine justice system wherein one party is winning, other is not winning. So the, the party which is not winning or which is losing, so that party is always, you know, uh, uh, not happy as for the outcome. Okay, so substantial outcome is that both parties are happy and they are not appealing to any of the, let's say, further justice uh, to that dispute. ठीक है तो ये काफी इंपॉर्टेंट होता है मेडिएशन में बेनिफिट्स हियर ओके नाउ व्हाई एंड हाउ मेडिएशन कैन बी सक्सेसफुल इन रशिया यूक्रेन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ओके सो हाउ इट कैन बी सक्सेसफुल फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट इट इज गोइंग टू हैव सम सम काइंड ऑफ स्टेटस को इमीडिएटली ऑन दिस वॉर एंड दैट विल रिजल्ट इन टू लेट्स से लॉस ऑफ लाइफ एंड प्रॉपर्टी especially in ukraine okay so any kind of mediation will first focus on having the status quo okay and then they will talk about uh, the further outcome second thing is that power balance for any kind of substantial outcome there should be some power balance otherwise there is no meaning for mediation because the more powerful party will not you know uh, accept the outcome or will not listen to the lower powerful or less powerful uh, party uh, in that conflict or dispute now in this particular case earlier it was thought that russia was uh, let's say the mighty party here or powerful party to this dispute and ukraine is not but later on we can see that western countries led by us and european union they supported ukraine okay although not directly but indirectly they are supporting in terms of finance defense equipments and everything now okay so earlier it was thought that russia being the second largest defense power so uh, uh, ukraine will be let's say very less powerful as compared to but now there is some kind of power equation and russia is russian economy is facing problem because of sanctions by the western countries okay and that's why russia is not having any other solution at present but to come at negotiation table okay so that's why now the power balance is there this is very important aspect for any kind of successful mediation that's why we are saying that mediation can be the solution here okay and third we can uh, say that here the neutral party for mediation that is available and india can now play the role here you can talk about okay so how india can play the role of mediator in this conflict if we see the recent developments the visits to india by officials officials from uk germany then a commonwealth uh, let's say grouping then russian foreign minister then uh, us deputy nsa national security advisor so they visited india within short period of time also chinese foreign minister it shows that india's importance in international affairs it shows that these countries give india importance so whatever india says it is having some kind of importance in this conflict now second thing one should understand that india has been at present neutral state at present it is not taking the sides in this conflict and even both sides are not you know rejecting india or let's say having any kind of sanctions on india for this purpose rather it is beneficial for both sides here the the role that india is playing being the neutral 
how and how it is going to be beneficial for India also. India requires the help of both in future. There are two blocks. Okay. And India requires help of both. And that's why it is beneficial for India to remain neutral. Okay. In future, if we take stand against Russia, then Russia may not help us if China takes any kind of aggressive action against India. Okay. And yes, of course, US and EU may help, but dur hai na wo. दूर के रिश्तेदार है हम ऐसा बोलेंगे पास का रिश्तेदार रशिया है ठीक है तो हम इसको छोड़ नहीं सकते एंड इफ यू टेक स्टैंड इन फेवर ऑफ रशिया देन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द प्रॉब्लम द रीसेंट टाइम्स विथ यूएस वी हैव इंप्रूव्ड डिफेंस पार्टनरशिप तो और क्वाड है जियो पोलिटिकल स्ट्रेटेजिक इंपॉर्टेंस दे रहे हैं इंडिया को सारी कंट्रीज तो वो जो प्रोग्रेस था वो कम हो जाएगा एंड दैट्स वाई वी आर नॉट टेकिंग एनी party stand here okay and if suppose india proposes a solution or become the mediator in this conflict both sides will be accepting you can think that why china why not china agar china ye propose karta hai solution in dono countries mein to kya problem hai of course these are already against china no us china conflict that is You know, continuously since 2017-18, जैसे uh, trade war शुरू हुआ है दोनों countries में उसके बाद में continuously they are at conflict. ठीक है तो that will not be accepted for West. तो ऐसी आज जो है एक major regional power ऐसे कौन सी country है तो वो India है And its let's say regional power, global power is increasing day by day. And this that is acceptable to both blocks. ठीक है चाइना को इतना पसंद नहीं आएगा बट यस ऑफ कोर्स रशिया विल बी इंटरेस्टेड नो ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ इंडिया कैन प्ले द इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल एज अ पार्ट एज अ मेडिएटर टू सॉल्व दिस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ठीक है सो यस वेरी गुड कोटेशन दैट इज रिटर्न हियर इट इज सेइंग दैट व्हेन बोथ पार्टीज इन द डिस्प्यूट वेन दे यू नो एक्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर इमोशंस then they become reactive then they become reactive here this reactive aspect is neutralized by the neutral mediator this neutral mediator ye ek advantage mein hum likh sakte hai this is not reactive it will not react to any kind of you know response by either of the party and that will act as a you know buffer theek hai escalate hone nahi dega ye also it will act as a aise either communicator a passive communicator it will play a passive role as simply communicator jisko hum passive dipl diplomacy bolte hain aur shuttle diplomacy shuttle diplomacy aise technical words answer mein use karne hain hame ir mein theek hai हाँ तो शटल डिप्लोमेसी पैसिव रोल एज ए कम्युनिकेटर इसने ऐसे बोला है आपको एग्री है इसने ऐसे बोला है आपको एग्री है ठीक है तो ये पैसिव रोल हो या फिर एक्टिव रोल प्ले कर सकता है हाउ एक्टिव रोल बाय इन्फ्लुएंसिंग व्यूज ऑफ द पार्टी देर व्यूज द मैटर ऑफ द डिस्प्यूट इट कैन हैव द एक्टिव इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन दैट ठीक है बाई लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्रपोजिंग द सोल्यूशन That can be acceptable to both, ठीक है तो ये active role हो जाता है तो दोनों जो है past में you can give the examples like for example uh, the people they have played the important role in the dispute dispute resolution जैसे कि Ethiopian president जो थे he has been playing the important role of mediator between Ethiopia and what is the नॉर्थ नदर नेबर ऑफ इथियोपिया जिसकी वजह से इनको नोबेल पीस प्राइज मिला था 2019 में ठीक है आई एम नॉट एग्जैक्टली रिमेम्बरिंग द नेम ऑफ दैट कंट्री बट यस बिकॉज ऑफ दैट नो पर्सन यू एन लेट्स से सेक्रेटरी जनरल इन द पास दे हैव प्लेड द इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल एज अ शटल डिप्लोमेसी पैसिव रोल दे हैव प्लेड स्पेशली इफ यू रिमेंबर द नेम 
uh, UN Secretary General during the Cold War era. Uh, he has played a role to diffuse the tension between the US and USSR, especially during that Cuban Missile Crisis. Recently, we discussed that example. A recent example you can give, a recent related to India, not recent, uh, you can give the example of World Bank. How it played the role of mediator in Indus Treaty between India and Pakistan. And it has been successful example. India or Pakistan may as a key treaty hai, jaha pe both countries jo hai, war pe ho to bhi inhone ye implement kiya hai. Okay, this is very important example and such kind of organizations, countries, individuals, they have played the role as a mediator in the past. Theek hai, to not only individual but countries and organizations as a neutral state or neutral party to the mediator, they are playing very important role. ठीक है तो ये सारा डिस्कशन बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है और एथिक्स के लिए एक हमें स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन अगर पूछते हैं तो ये अच्छा स्टेटमेंट है स्पीक व्हेन यू आर एंग्री एंड यू विल मेक द बेस्ट स्पीच यू विल एवर रिग्रेट एक एंगर के ऊपर यूपीएससी ने स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन पूछा है इन पास्ट स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड है या नॉर्मल है है ना हां ठीक है यू कैन बिकम एंग्री कुछ तो ऐसे ही एक स्टेटमेंट है आई एम नॉट रिमेंबरिंग एग्जैक्टली बट बिकमिंग एंग्री एट अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन एट पर्टिकुलर लेट्स से लेवल ठीक है हां तो वो एरिस्टोटल का स्टेटमेंट है लार्जली रिलेटेड टू इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस ठीक है यस यस ठीक है तो वाइज पर्सन के लिए ठीक है सो द सेम काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट इज देयर नो स्पीक व्हेन यू आर एंग्री and you will make the best speech you will ever regret yani ki aap jab angry hote ho to aap kuch bhi bol dete ho bolte hai na ki usko gussa hai wo hosh mein nahi hai theek hai jo bol raha hai usko nahi samajh raha hai hum bolte hai na basically uh, we, we later on regret what we said in anger this happens to each and every one of us theek hai so this is very relevant to our ethics paper it talks about you know controlling our anger controlling our emotions emotional intelligence it is part of our syllabus theek push the policy needle forward on migrant support this article is written from the governance and social justice perspective need of having dedicated policy at national level towards migrant labor okay <clears throat> the plight of migrant workers during the first wave of pandemic so we have seen the reverse migration problem that happened the migrant labor during the first wave pandemic lockdown was imposed strict lockdown and they faced the uncertainty in terms of you know loss of income because economic activities were stopped the problem of hunger insecurity of life then you know insecurity of life and that to dying away from let's say family this was the major concern of the migrant labor theek hai unko lag raha tha ki sab marne wale hai aur kisi bhi person ko jo hai jab डेथ का एक जो हम बोलते हैं ना डर होता है तो उनको लगता है कि हमारी फैमिली हमारे साथ में हो ठीक है सो दिस वाज द मेजर कंसर्न देन देन वी कैन से लैक ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन दिस हैज रिजल्टेड इनटू दे स्टार्टेड यू नो वॉकिंग बैक टू देयर विलेजेस दे वॉक फॉर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ किलोमीटर्स बैक दिस वॉज द प्लाइट दे फेस्ड ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट लॉकडाउन फर्स्ट वेव वी कैन से ऑफ दिस पैंड वॉट मेजर्स वेर टेकन टू प्रोवाइड दम रिलीफ द मेजर्स वेर नॉट ओनली टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट बट ऑल्सो एन जी ओज कम्युनिटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे ऑल्सो केम फॉरवर्ड सो फर्स्ट वन नेशन वन पेंश सॉरी वन राशन कार्ड स्कीम इंटरऑपरेबिलिटी पोर्टेबिलिटी ऑफ राशन कार्ड देन प्रधानमंत्री गरीब कल्याण अन्न योजना additional 5 kg of food grains free of cost were given to those beneficiaries under nfsa national food security act then <clears throat> the transport was made available 
railways ran what was the the name of the trains special trains for the movement of this labor then e shram portal later on started by ministry of labor to register all these migrant laborers working in unorganized sector then availability of food shelter by each and every state after the order was given by the supreme court and high courts ha shramik special trains shramik trains were run by ministry of railway okay you should know about this the measures taken by the, like food food kitchens or let's say shelter homes like for example in delhi shelter homes were there availability of cooked food was made available to them theek hai ye sari cheeze ho rahi thi so these were the measures taken by government ngos came in support to the government to the people those who were walking back they were provided food shelter uh, on their routes theek hai to ye ek hum bol sakte hai positive steps now what is their present situation despite of all these measures even when they went back uh, let's say they faced the problem of unemployment so government increased the allocation to mg narega प्रधानमंत्री ग्राम सड़क योजना प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना अलोकेशन टू दीज स्कीम्स वेर इंक्रीज सो दैट वॉट एवर द लेबर वेंट बैक टू द सोर्स स्टेट देअर होम स्टेट दे डू नॉट फेस अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ठीक है और लैक ऑफ लाइवलीहुड अपॉर्चुनिटीज तो ये भी आप लिख सकते हैं देन वॉट इज देयर प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन now after the first wave of pandemic and second wave of pandemic this migrant labor again is coming back to the urban area however their income levels are now less compared to pre pandemic level compared to pre pandemic level first situation second thing is that e shram portal not completely able to track migrant laborers because what happens is some of the migrant laborers continuously migrate from one state to other state वो एक ही स्टेट में नहीं रहते तो दूसरे स्टेट में वो माइग्रेट करते रहते हैं कंटिन्यूसली सो देर इज नो फॉलो अप थ्रू ई श्रम पोर्टल सो दे आर नॉट एबल टू टेक द बेनिफिट्स सो एट प्रेजेंट दिस इज द सिचुएशन सो दे आर इनकम लेवल्स हैव नॉट इंप्रूव रादर दे आर पुश टू द पॉवर्टी बिलो पॉवर्टी ओके द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ माइग्रेंट लेबर फॉर इंडियन इकोनॉमी वन थर्ड लेबर वर्किंग इन अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर इन इंडिया माइग्रेंट लेबर not only unorganized rather even as a part of formal sector people are working away from their states one third you can say of the total labor force first thing second thing is that very important to certain sectors of economy like for example manufacturing sector construction then you can talk about uh, labor intensive textile then you can talk about let's say engineering engineering plants or let's say all this which require unskilled or semi skilled labor so a uh, very important support system is there especially again then you can talk about hospitality hospitality this sector also requires unskilled labor or semi skilled laborers so they are a very important you know foundation of all these sectors and that's why they let's provide important contribution to our indian economy now what are the issues related to policy making for migrant workers the important issues first one is that politicization 
migrant laborers issue how politicization done first is that the destination states okay so yes son of soils policy for example in haryana you can talk about let's say ha huh, the reservation to the locals in even in private sector you can give the example of maharashtra how the problem happens in mumbai theek hai some of let's say the conflict between locals and outside so ye sara issue hai theek hai usme aap example de sakte hain second thing is that the source state so source states also focus on let's say policy making or the the welfare of these labor why because they go back to the source state and vote for them aapko pata hona chahiye ki voting ke liye migrant labor kahan pe bhi ho india mein wo wapas unke state mein jata hai kyunki unko kuch na kuch benefits milta hai unke family ko kuch benefits milta hai theek hai that's why it is politicization of the labor issue both in both states and because of that the problem second thing is that the categorization the migrant laborers are let's say in urban areas they are categorized only in two aspect one is unorganized sector and second is urban poor but some of the let's say <clears throat> migrant laborers may not fit in in these two as uh, we can say sectors and that's why the policy majors they are very rigid for example uh, let's say in urban area for slum areas slum development suppose redevelopment urban policy to deal with urban poor suppose now some of the migrant labor they are not living in slums they are living in the sites on the sites project sites itself like for construction bill so these migrant laborers they live near the construction site or on the construction site as well by let's say having the makeshift, makeshift arrangements so how they will benefit right so they are not part of urban poor here okay so that's why they are not getting the benefits also okay then the fourth problem is lack of sufficient data like for example ishram portal is not able to you know track all this uh, migrant laborers when they are well, migrating to multi states one state to other state within a year that's why this is uh, having insufficient data at national level there is lack of data but some of the states they are having or taking certain steps here positive states like for example in maharashtra you can give the example of maharashtra tracking system mts so that is specially for children and women okay and under it is department of women uh, let's say women and Ch child development it is not under labor department rather it is under department of women and child development so that is uh, uh, let's say kind of inter departmental convergence so in way forward you can give such case studies chatisgarh ka bhi ek hai और महाराष्ट्र का भी है एक पॉजिटिव एग्जांपल सो यू कैन गिव दैट एग्जांपल एमटीएस महाराष्ट्र ट्रैकिंग सर्विस सिस्टम फॉर विमेन एंड चाइल्ड ओके दिस एग्जांपल यू कैन गिव देन यू कैन दिस एग्जांपल इज फॉर यू नो इंटर कन्वर्जेंस इंटर डिपार्टमेंटल कन्वर्जेंस इज रिक्वायर्ड then second thing you should talk about need of national policy national level policy at present niti aayog is working but still it is draft policy it is not finalized and accepted by the government it should be finalized at the earliest okay so central government should play the important role uh, the, as a policy guideline to the states to for the labor welfare and let's say especially for migrant labor uh, interstate migrant laborers so they are not having appropriate policy measures okay although it is part of state subject or largely it is you know the social justice aspect related to states but of course when it it comes to interstate and because of pandemic this issue has been highlighted 
okay so that's why center should play a more proactive role here at least facilitate for uh, such kind of welfare yes the policy in india often emerges from the ground up taking decades to cement into national law and standard practice especially you know you should give the examples here जैसे कि आप एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे लिख सकते हैं कि पावर्टी एलिवेशन है ना पावर्टी एलिवेशन के लिए लिखिए एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन के लिए लिखिए फूड सिक्योरिटी के लिए यू कैन सी दैट पावर्टी रिडक्शन सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस वी आर वर्किंग ऑन इट एंड स्टिल सो मेनी पीपल आर बिलो पावर्टी okay and the substantial measures and let's say national law for example employment related employment generation so many schemes successive government took so many schemes and later on right to have the employment it was it became the law after mg narega theek hai to wo law baad mein bana standard practice jo hai baad mein bana theek hai same is case with food security इट बिकेम लॉ नेशनल फूड सिक्योरिटी एक्ट 2013 मतलब इंडिपेंडेंस से आप चल रहे हो उसके बाद में जो है फूड एंटाइटलमेंट बिकेम द लीगल एंटाइटलमेंट आफ्टर सो मेनी ईयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस ठीक है तो इस ये स्टेटमेंट वहां लागू होता है सेम इज द केस यू कैन गिव विद लेबर वेलफेयर इन इंडिया ठीक है आज भी लेबर वेलफेयर जो है मेजर कंसर्न है ठीक है पॉलिसी में पॉलिसी के लिए ओके फाइन ना इंडिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन एंड ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट ई सी टी एस ऑन सेकेंड ऑफ अप्रिल दिस एग्रीमेंट वॉज साइन बिटवीन इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड ऑस्ट्रेलियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड दिस दिस इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू इंक्रीज द ट्रेड बिटवीन टू साइड्स टू अराउंड से अपू फिफ्टी बिलियन डॉलर ओवर नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स फ्रॉम एट प्रेजेंट ट्वेंटी सेवन बिलियन डॉलर it is expected to create the employment over 10 lakh in india okay what are the main features yes some of the main features you should know like it clearly have rules of origin that are aimed at creating anti dumping measures we'll talk about that later on what what are these rules of origin also sections that are aimed at providing remedies and mechanisms for resolving trade dispute so trade dispute resolution mechanism inbuilt hai also compulsory review mechanism after 15 years of implementation this is a first such trade agreement signed by india having such clause review mechanism okay let's let's say will australia get access to india's agriculture market under this agreement specific products with certain caveats they will get the access like australia will get opportunity to export certain varieties of agriculture produce like potatoes lentils meat products with some caveats certain conditions however bovine meat is not part of this agreement okay bovine meat because india is having certain kind of let's say export uh, we can say uh, for the bovine meat india se jo hai buffalo meat okay. bahut zyada export hota hai okay so that's why uh, we are not providing that uh, we have not provided that here Australia may also send machineries that are required for food processing under this agreement. So, वो import हो सकता है food processing industry, and that is good because it is sun sunshine sector, a sunrise sector हम बोल सकते हैं food processing industry. India may open up its wide range of alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks, including beer and Australian wines. ठीक है तो beverages में हम बोल सकते हैं alcoholic, non-alcoholic beverages. then indian side said that australia will provide preferential access to all labor intensive sectors of exports theek hai to kaise gems and jewelries textile leather footwear so that means india's msme sector is going to benefit theek hai india will also allow australia to export raw materials under preferential items like coal mineral ores ठीक है तो ये भी हमारे लिए हेवी इंडस्ट्रीज के लिए अच्छा है ओके सो कोल एंड मिनरल ओर्स लाइक आयन ओर फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड अदर मिनरल ओर्स आल्सो ठीक है 
Now, what does it say about service sector? So, yes, a wide, uh, offered wide-ranging commitments in around 135 subsectors and most favored nation in 120 subsectors. Key areas like IT services, then electronics, business services, health education, audiovisual services. Also, Indian chefs and yoga teachers uh, will get specific entry quotas into Australia while Indian students will get the specific quota on reciprocal basis. What about India's pharmaceutical sector? Yes, both have agreed to enable fast track approval for the patented generic as well as biosimilar medicines. There will be also audit mechanism of imports that require sanitary and phytosanitary inspection. Okay. Now, what about dispute settlement mechanism? Yes, under Article 13.5 of the agreement, both parties have agreed to hold consultation and make every effort to find the solution for the dispute. If suppose they are not able to find the dispute, then they will go to such body wherein both are members of that body, like for example, WTO. Okay, so for finding the uh, solution to that dispute. Also, resolution of the dispute may uh, occur between the 45 days to 15 months. Unhone timeline bhi diya hai. Now, what are the rules of origin? The rules of origin are based on the principle that they should be wholly obtained or produced in the territory of one or both of the parties. That means <coughs> there will not be dumping of used, discarded material in uh, India or if you suppose from India to Australia. Okay, only and unless that 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 uh, particular material is uh, to be used for, as input to other industry. Okay, so jaise ki jah, this section ensures that waste material will not be exported by either side unless they contribute to production of any of the items listed in this agreement. Okay, yani ki export of such discarded material is not allowed wherein that material is not used for manufacturing of any of the item mentioned in this agreement. Okay. Otherwise, that will not be allowed for import or export. Okay. So, we can say the rules of origin. Anti-dumping is for the waste material dumping. Okay. It means that a particular country is going to dump in another country. It will dump the waste material. It will not be allowed to dump. So, this is also a good thing. Now, IPCC report may sm spell death knell for coal based unit. So, this is how the scientists, environmental uh, scientists, we can say they are saying here under summary of policy makers of IPCC working group 3 report. It is part of, let us say, sixth assessment report, third installment. Okay. This complete report will be completed this year. Highlights of the report, what they are saying, all coal-fired power plants without the technology to capture, store and carbon, okay, CSS, capture and store carbon technology, very important te technology for carbon mitigation, okay, mitigation technology is compact, need to be shuttered by 2050 if the world aspired to limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius, Paris Agreement target. 2050, and we limit karna hai by the end of this century, anyhow, okay, so uh, they are saying that ye coal fired power plants jo hai, ye band hone chahiye. and specifically it is concern for India, why? According to Central Electricity Authority, India has about 211 gigawatt of operational coal fired power plant, it, the facts can, fact can be used for the energy related question, electricity related question, roughly 10% of global capacity. The problem here is that as per global energy monetary data, another 31 gigawatts are being constructed. About 24 gigawatt is in various pre-construction phases. But none of these plants are having this facility, capture and store carbon. That means, if uh, we are supposed to implement this, then we have to shut down all the coal power plants or install this facility. Okay. So, that's why it is concern for India. 
different scenarios are given under this by the scientist to limit this temperature rise and in one of the scenario limiting warming to around 1.5 degrees celsius requires global greenhouse emissions to peak before 2025 at the latest and be reduced by 43 percent by 2030 at the same time methane emissions should be reduced by one third global temperature will stabilize when carbon dioxide emissions reach net zero for 1.5 degrees celsius this meant achieving net zero carbon dioxide emissions globally in early 2050s for two degree early 2070s a major jo emitters hai jaise us hai european union unhone to 2050 diya hai target but remaining are china and india 2060 and india 2070 so this means that we are not able to achieve this 1.5 degree Celsius. Okay, so for that, China, India and other developing countries, they need to contribute aggressively. Okay, at the same time, it is responsibility of the developed countries to further expedite their process, mitigation processes and provide funds and technology transfer to the developing countries so that they can use the remaining carbon space available to them. Okay, development obligation hai. Okay, especially China, India population ki wajay se. And per capita emissions very low compared to global average. Okay, so this is related to environment section. About Jagannath Puri temple, it is in news. That's why we will cover basics from prelims perspective. Sri Jagannath temple is an important Hindu temple dedicated to Jagannath, a form of Vishnu, God Vishnu in Puri in state of Odisha on the eastern coast of India. Now, it is built by kings of Ganga dynasty. Ganga dynasty was very important dynasty during the medieval times on the eastern coast of India. It is example of Kalinga architecture, Jagannath, Balabhadra and Subhadra are trio of deities worshipped at the temple. Basically, there are forms of, uh, you can see that uh, Jagannath, Krishna. God Krishna, or then Balabhadra, uh, Balram. Balram, and then Subhadra as sister of Krishna and bo both of them. Theke? Subhadra. The Puri temple is famous for its annual Rath Yatra or chariot festival. We all know about this in which the three principal deities are pulled on huge and elaborately decorated temple cars. Annually, three deities are taken out of chariot procession called as Rath Yatra covering three kilometers along the Grand Road, connecting 12th century Sri Jagannath Temple and Mausi Ma Temple. Okay. The servitors carried the huge wooden idols from temple, swaying them rhythmically in ritual described as Pahandi. Okay, so this is what you need to know about the specific information for the prelims. Kalinga style of architecture is a sub-type of Nagara. Nagara style. Okay, Nagara style is a sub-style, like Kalinga, Assam. Okay, double dome. Assam, Assam. हाँ वो ऐसा फ्लैट डोम होता है ना ऐसा एक्सटेंडेड ठीक है तो आसाम का एक फेमस टेंपल है उसके लिए हाँ वहाँ पे जो है तांत्रिक कल्ट हाँ कामाख्या टेंपल यस आसाम का कामाख्या टेंपल ठीक है तो नगरा स्टाइल ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर यू शुड रिमेम्बर यू कैन सी द टेंपल हियर फोटोग्राफ फाइन देन there is one page in today's The Hindu newspaper wherein has some government schemes launched for youth empowerment in Jammu and Kashmir. How it is relevant to our prelims and mains examination? Government schemes is a part of prelims examination, current affairs and all these things. But for mains examination, how it is relevant? Hmm? Here you should know in GS3 paper, internal security is part. And insurgency or terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir is very important part, militancy in Jammu and Kashmir. And yes, development aspect. Let's say swaying, uh, let's say youth away from the militancy and support to militancy. How it can be done? By engaging them in a productive employment. 
ठीक है तो उसके लिए क्या गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स है आपको आंसर में लिखने आना चाहिए है ना एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल मुमकिन ओके सो टू थाउजेंड एल सी बी फॉर यूथ विथ हंड्रेड परसेंट फंडिंग तेजस्विनी टू टू थाउजेंड केसेस विथ फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट मोर देन हंड्रेड क्रोर सेंक्शन बेनिफिटिंग मोर देन थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड वीमेन तेजस्विनी इज फॉर वीमेन राइज टूगेदर एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस कमेंस्ड यूथ वॉलेंटियर प्रोग्राम सो यूथ क्लब्स आर कंस्टिट्यूटेड एज लेट से यूथ एज अ बेसिक मेंबर स्परिंग आंटरप्रिनरशिप एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस कमेंस्ड Now district youth clubs for 10 districts super 75 super B 75 scholarship programs for boys and girls. Then Auser digital platform for facilitating placement of youth of Jammu and Kashmir in leading corporate houses of the country, private companies के लिए placement के लिए Auser psycho social support month long psycho social counselling program organized across panchayats of Jammu and Kashmir. Then Parvaz. कोचिंग फॉर 1000 थाउजेंड सिविल सर्विस एस्पायरेंट बींग फैसिलिटेड ठीक है परवाज तो ऐसे कुछ एग्जाम्पल लिखिए अवसर जो है प्राइवेट सेक्टर परवाज गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम के लिए तेजस्विनी स्पेसिफिकली फॉर वुमेन ठीक है यहाँ पे भी एक लिखा है जे एंड के टूरिस्ट विलेज नेटवर्क स्कीम बेनिफिट्स लोकल यूथ ग्रुप्स टेन लैक फॉर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लाइक कैंपिंग मटीरियल इक्विपमेंट होम स्टेज तो एक प्रमोट कर रहे हैं हम उनको एम्प्लॉयमेंट के लिए सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट के लिए देन देर इज एंडीवेयर टू एम्पावर स्कीम इन फर्स्ट फेज 200 यूथ ट्रेन एज म्यूचुअल फंड एडवाइजर ठीक है प्राइवेट सेक्टर में 98 मार्केट ड्रिवन स्किल डेवलपमेंट कोर्सेज इंक्लूडिंग डिजिटल मार्केटिंग सॉफ्ट स्किल ठीक है तो ये एंडीवेयर टू एम्पावर स्कीम है तो कुछ स्कीम्स के नाम आपको याद रखने हैं फॉर मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है ओके फाइन व्हाट शुड बी आंसर टू दिस ओके सो क्वेश्चन टॉकिंग अबाउट जगन्नाथपुरी टेंपल वी हैव टू फाइंड द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स इट इज बिल्ड बाय किंग्स ऑफ पला डायनेस्टी यस इट इज इनकरेक्ट इट इज बिल्ड बाय द किंग्स ऑफ गंगा डायनेस्टी पला डायनेस्टी कहां पर था मेडिवल टाइम्स पे वहीं पे था बंगाल और बिहार के यहाँ पे ठीक है पला डायनेस्टी था तो इट इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ कलिंगा आर्किटेक्चर राइट सो दिस इज करेक्ट सो बी और टू ओनली इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर फाइन ओके एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर साइड एरिट्रिया ना यस एथियोपिया एरिट्रिया कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हाँ उनको नोबेल पीस प्राइज मिला था सो ही वॉज द मेडिएटर ठीक है सनराइज सेक्टर इज दैट सेक्टर विच इज एमर्जिंग सेक्टर इट इज हैविंग ह्यूज पोटेंशियल बट इट इज नॉट येट रियलाइज हाँ तो उसको सनराइज सेक्टर बोलते हैं जैसे टूरिज्म है या फिर फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्रीज है इन इंडिया और वी कैन टॉक अबाउट मेडिकल टूरिज्म जिसको स्पेसिफिकली अगर बोलते हैं तो ह्यूज पोटेंशियल है इट इज नॉट रियलाइज येट ओके फाइन let us stop